Yes, people, what is going on? So today I'm gonna show you a leg workout that you can do at home to improve your strength, speed, and power. As you can see, all you need to complete this workout is a small area, as I've got here, a set of weights. If you haven't got a set of weights at home, just use any heavy objects that you've got laying about and a resistance band. But yeah, that's enough talk from me. Let's get on a workout. Bosh. Before we get into any of the resistance training exercises and explosive exercises, it's absolutely essential that we start with a warm up to get the heart rate up and those muscle fibers activated. So I start off by shaking everything out, making sure I'm nice and loose before I start increasing the tempo of the workout. Start off with a nice little jog to try and increase that heart rate before you move into some dynamic stretches. By starting off with a dynamic warm up, we can increase our blood flow and range of motion in those muscle groups that we're working throughout the session. A warm up is also not only good for reducing the risk of injury, but would also enable us to perform the exercises more effectively throughout the session. For this dynamic warm up in particular, make sure you're focusing on those muscles in your lower body as these will be worked continuously throughout. So that's your hamstrings, your quads, your calves, your groins, your glutes, etc. Look to form around 10 reps on each exercise. If you don't feel that amount of reps is enough, then proceed to do more. Make sure you only move on when you feel your body is ready to do so. Following on from those dynamic stretches, I like to incorporate a few exercises to improve my balance and coordination. These exercises are great for reducing your risk of injury, both in your muscles and your joints. The main reason in particular why I like to incorporate these exercises into my training is that it improves my proprioception, which is our body's ability to sense movement, action, and location. These exercises all improve our balance, coordination, and agility, which are all very important for football. So the exercises here are brawl jumps, hops, ski jumps, and single leg in and out. Look to form three sets for each exercise along with 10 reps, six reps on each leg for the hops and single leg in and out. So now we're going to be moving into some resistance band exercises. Resistant band exercises are a great way to put a small amount of tension on the muscles and get them working before you move into more strenuous exercise. A simple piece of equipment that is very versatile and can get you ready for the session ahead. The exercises that I'm doing are diagonal walks, lateral walks, lateral leg raises, single leg kickouts, glute bridges, and in to out squats. Look to form three sets for each exercise along with 10 reps as well, six reps on each leg for lateral leg raises and single leg kickouts. Now we're going to move into the final part of the warm up, which is where we're looking to really increase that heart rate and make sure our muscles are all ready for the workout. These exercises here are where we want to increase your effort to make sure you're ready for the resistance exercises. As we're limited to space, we're just going to form some yo yo's, some lateral yo yo's, along with a few quick feet exercises which are two feet in and out, foot switches, and the icky shuffle. Look to perform two sets for each exercise, work for 30 seconds on each exercise, followed by 30 seconds rest. Important here to make sure you're really ready before we move into the first resistance exercise. Now it's time to grab the dumbbells or any alternative that you're using as a weight and perform our first resistance exercise, which is going to be squats. So the first exercise, you want to stand with your feet around shoulder width apart, holding the dumbbells down by your side. You then want to slowly drop your hips whilst putting the weight through your heels and maintaining a neutral spine. Then as you get to a point in which your glutes and knees are parallel, you want to drive your falls through your heels so you're back upright and into your original position. Look to form three sets with one set being 10 to 12 reps. The next exercise is going to be lunges. For this exercise, you want to stand with your feet around shoulder width apart, holding the dumbbells down by your side. You then want to put one leg in front of the other and go into a split stance. For this, you want to ensure your legs are at a 90 degree angle and your front knees not over your front foot. You don't want to bring your leg back in towards you so you're in your original position. For this, you want to ensure your legs are at a 90 degree angle and your front knee is not over your front foot. You don't want to bring your leg back in towards you so you're in your original position. Look to alternate your leg each time you perform a lunge. Look to perform three sets. Each set should be 12 reps, six reps on each leg. The third exercise we're going to perform is split squats. For this exercise, you want to start in a split stance position and then proceed to lower your hips and flex your knees so you're just above the ground. As soon as your back knee is just above the ground, you want to stand up and return back to your starting position. Look to perform three sets. Each set should be 12 reps, six reps on each leg. The fourth exercise is going to be Romanian deadlifts. For this exercise, you want to stand with your feet around shoulder width apart, holding the dumbbells down by your side. You then want to hinge forward at the hips whilst maintaining a neutral spine. You also want to bend slightly at your knees as you go down with the dumbbells. As soon as you get to a point in which you feel it's tight between your knees and toes, you want to drive the weight through your heels and back into your starting position. Look to form three sets, each set to be 12 reps. The fifth exercise is going to be side lunges. For this exercise, you want to stand with your feet fairly close together and around shoulder width apart, with the dumbbells down by your side. You then want to take one large step to the side of you. When you land from the step, ensure your weight is being put through your heel and your knee and your hip are at a 90 degree angle to complete the movement. You then want to return back to your starting position before performing the exercise again. Look to form three sets of this exercise. Each set should be 12 reps, six reps on each leg. The sixth and final exercise is going to be calf raises. For this exercise, you want to stand with your feet around shoulder width apart with the dumbbells down by your side. You then want to raise your heels and go on the balls of your feet. You want a slight pause as you go onto the balls of your feet before returning back to your starting position. Look to form three sets. Each set should be around 12 reps. 
So now we're all done with the resistance training exercises, I like to finish the workout with a plyometric circuit. Plyometrics training is a great way for working on your speed and power, which is obviously great for football. The circuit element as well also enables us to work on our muscular endurance. The circuit that I'm going to be performing is 10 squat jumps, 10 jumping lunges, and 20 pogo jumps. Look to perform this circuit three times and a minute's rest in between each set. Now before we finish the session, it's essential that we do a cool down and some static stretching. This is so we can decrease the impact of DOMS. With a lot of load being put for our legs in this session, it's important that we stretch all the major muscle groups in our lower body. So look to stretch each muscle group for around 20 to 30 seconds on each leg before finishing the session. So that is a leg workout that you can do at home to improve your strength, speed and power. Only a short period of time to complete this workout, but really essential that we have strong legs, especially to improve our football performance. But yeah, that's enough talk from me. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, 